Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on rearranging formulae. This is the second video on this topic. If you've not watched the first one, we go over a couple of different skills in that video, so you might want to check that out first. But here we're going to start with looking at formulas involving squares. So for the equation a equals pi r squared, make r the subject. So let's just rewrite the formula, a equals pi r squared. You might recognise this as the area of a circle. So actually this is quite a common question to be faced with because you might be given the area and have to work out the radius of the circle. So uh, we want to make r the subject here. So the first thing we're going to have to do is divide both sides by pi. So if we divide by pi, uh, this is going to give us a over pi on the left hand side and we're going to be left with r squared on the right hand side. So now all we have to do to get r on its own is just take the square root of both sides of the equation. So if you want to remove a square, you just do the square root. Uh, so we're going to get the square root of a over pi is equal to r. Now we've got r on its own here, so r is now the subject of the equation. So let's move on to some similar examples, but this time involving square roots rather than squares. So we have to rearrange the following formula here, which is d equals the square root of 3h over 2, and make h the subject. So we'll just start by rewriting it. So d equals the square root of 3h over 2. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is remove the square root. So we're going to square both sides of the equation. So this is going to give us d squared on the left hand side and just 3h over 2 on the right hand side. And next, as we want to make h the subject, we're going to have to remove the fraction. And to do that, we multiply uh, both sides by the denominator of the fraction. So we're multiplying by 2 this time. Uh, so this is going to give us 2d squared is equal to 3h. And then finally, we just have to divide by 3 to get h on its own. Uh, so we get 2d squared over 3 is equal to h. So if you want, you can rewrite this in the other order. So h equals 2d over 3, but both are acceptable answers uh, when you want to rearrange to make h the subject. Rearranging formulae is definitely a skill that takes some practice, so why not get some practice with our online exam? This is available through our revision platform, so if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So you'll be able to see where you've gone wrong, see the work solutions, and find out how you can improve uh, ready for your exams. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.